In this video, we'll discuss how heart rate is controlled by nervous innervation. So if I can first draw your attention down to the aorta and the aortic arch, you'll see that we have some aortic barrel receptors located on the aortic arch. We also have barrel receptors up here on the internal carotid artery. These are called the carotid barrel receptors. And these carotid barrel receptors are located on a swelling um, on the internal carotid artery. This is called the carotid sinus. So the carotid sinus is a swelling on the internal carotid artery. And on that swelling are located uh, the carotid barrel receptors. So we have two kinds of barrel receptors. Barrel receptors are stretch receptors that can detect the change in pressure, the change in stretch on the arteries and then send signals via their nerves that they're connected to up to the medulla oblongata. So we have the aortic barrel receptors, which are send sending information about blood pressure up the vagus nerve to the medulla oblongata. And then we have stretch receptors or barrel receptors on the carotid sinus of the internal carotid artery, sending information about blood pressure up via the glossopharyngeal nerve, this is the glossopharyngeal nerve here, into the medulla oblongata. So we have information coming from two sources, from the aortic barrel receptors and the carotid barrel receptors. Now this information about blood pressure, whether it's high or low, is integrated in the cardiac control center within the medulla oblongata. And then a decision is made by the cardiac control center. Is the blood pressure too high? Is it too low above the, or, or around the set point? So remember, in the cardiac control center, there is a homeostatic set point of what blood pressure, a range of, of what blood pressure should be in. If it goes too high or too low, the cardiac control center has to then send an efferent uh, signal or a correction signal down to the heart to, uh, increase or decrease the blood pressure and bring it back under homeostatic control. So, if the blood pressure is too high, a efferent signal can be sent down, back down the vagus nerve, here you can see the arrow. If the blood pressure is too high, an efferent signal can be sent down the uh, vagus nerve via, via parasympathetic fibers and innervate the SA node. And what this will do is it will uh, release acetylcholine and acetylcholine will have an inhibitory effect on the SA node and slow the heart rate down. Okay, so the, the, if blood pressure is too high, a correction signal can be sent down the vagus nerve via parasympathetic fibers, which release acetylcholine on the SA node and slow the heart rate down. On the opposite end, if the blood pressure is too low and we need to increase the blood pressure to get back into that homeostatic range, a correction signal is sent via sympathetic fibers down the cardiac nerve, where the cardiac nerve here, there are three cardiac nerves which uh, come out of the cervical ganglia and the cardiac nerve then releases norepinephrine at the SA node and increases the heart rate. So we have, okay, just to summarize, we have two inputs, the aortic barrel receptors and the carotid barrel receptors sending afferent information about blood pressure up to the medulla oblongata and into the cardiac control center. And then depending on whether the the blood pressure is too high or too low, a correction signal can be sent down either via the vagus nerve and parasympathetic fibers to inhibit and decrease the heart rate, or via sympathetic, fire, sympathetic fibers via the cardiac nerve to release norepinephrine and stimulate the heart rate. 